Hey everyone, I'm Matt with Ozark Overland Adventures. And I say all the time, we go out to get away from the distractions of cell signal and internet access and you know all the technology stuff. But I will say there are times when I have been out, needed cell signal, and didn't have any or had very little. And that is where something like this comes in. This is the High Boost Cell Signal Booster Kit. This one is the 4G 2.0 Truck Kit. And I want to give this thing a shot. There's been plenty of times where I have been out without my wife or my kids with me and needed to have access to communicate to them. Uh, I do have a Garmin inReach, which works really well, um, especially in emergency situations, but it's not perfect. And so wanted to give this uh, cell signal booster kit a try and see if it actually makes a difference. Now, one thing about these things is they do not boost no signal. They do have to have a signal to boost, but I mean, we've all been out and had you know one bar of cell signal, but we couldn't do anything with it. Uh, so that's where this comes in and I'm gonna get this installed on the gladiator and Then get out and go camping and see if it actually makes a difference With my cell signal and being able to do things, you know, maybe you work remotely But you want to be able to work more remotely and that something like this may be a benefit to you uh, So we'll see in the box I don't think these things are real hard to, to install. Uh, in the box, you've got your antenna, and this one is a particularly large one since it's uh, four larger vehicles, truck mounts. They do make smaller antennas for car mounts, that sort of thing. Um, we've got cabling. We've got the actual signal booster part. Uh, the antenna goes into here. Uh, this goes out to the internal antenna. This is what will be providing you um, your signal inside your vehicle. And then we've got some mounting brackets, some double-sided tape stuff. And that's really it. You connect, mount the antenna, connect this to this, connect this to this. It powers off a USB cable. So um, this should be, should be fairly simple to install. I think the biggest issue I'm going to have is how I, the place I need to mount my antenna is not going to be easy to access, but I'll do that off camera because this is not about installing it on the Gladiator. This is about if, if they work or not. Ozark Overland Adventures is proudly supported by The More Expo, the Midwest's number one adventure travel consumer expo. Artemis Overland Hardware. They have one of the largest selections of overlanding gear available. Big Iron Overland Rally where Overland Expo meets Music Festival. Shop Overland Apparel, your source for Ozark Overland Adventures merchandise and more. Open Road Four Wheel Drive, makers of affordable, high quality winches and recovery gear. Outback RV of Texas, the best place for Overland Adventure trailers. And Moon, makers of the Moonshade Portable Awning. All right, well I got it installed and actually the install process as far as you know, hooking up the antenna to the receiver to the internal antenna, that is all super simple. The challenge is going to depend on your vehicle, where you want your antenna, and how you're going to run the wires. So just so you can see what I did. The antenna I mounted right here at the front of the bed rack. That was really the only option I had. Uh, I mean, I could have mounted it to the back, but didn't like the way that looked. So just for clean installation purposes. If I hit a tree, it can fold back there. It might actually rebound back up here. Um, we'll, we'll see how that goes. Um, ran it down there, ran it in between the, the little holes between the bed and the cab. That was, that was a whole lot of fun. Um, mounted it, then came inside through this little um, panel here, just drill a little hole in it so I could pass that through cleanly. And the receiver is right down there behind the back seats. I can still put my little rubber padding thing and over it and still store stuff there. But that's all out of the way. I ran the cables up here. The USB power cable goes right here to my 
to my back. I've still got three other USB cables available if, if I needed them. Um, just ran it under the, the the floor mat. The internal antenna comes down through here, ran it up here, um, ran it up here, and then I've got it Velcroed right there on the top. It's very... Um, blends in very well. I don't think there'll be any issue. I don't think anybody will ever notice it's there. But I figured that would be a, a good spot for the internal antenna. It does have a, an app that lets you see what your different signal strengths are. I haven't played with this enough yet to, to know what these different things mean. But uh, I can check the status of it. I can set different parameters and all that kind of stuff in the in the app and the install guide is in the app as well so um, that's pretty cool now the big question is does it work and for that i'm gonna have to go on a trip um, and i'll let you know i'm in the ozarks and i want to see if this high boost cell signal booster that i have will work i'm currently testing it with it off um, i'm not sure how well you can see that down I got 3.42 megabytes per second upstream I'm getting 0 0.2 0 0.28 so speed test is done there's with the high boost off one bar of LTE signal I had just turned the high boost on and my signal did go up to to two bars that's the status screen of it let's run the speed test and see how it does now Download of 4.68 and upload doesn't seem to be just a hair better at 031. So Not exactly overwhelmed by these results. I expected, I expected better than this. I mean, it did improve performance from the download standpoint, um, but I don't know. Um, I'll have to talk to them and and see. They did tell me to do one thing, and that's test the phone down here by the antenna to see if that does anything. So, the antenna's down here by my feet. Oh, all right, just went up to three bars down here by my feet. So maybe if I move my antenna, I shouldn't have to be this close to the antenna though. I mean, that's a little silly. Download 553, upload, we're getting over one, so But you shouldn't have to be this close to the antenna. Um, there's the the final results there. So it, that that did improvement. Like if I touch the antenna, does it get even better? No, it doesn't look so. Now let's move it back up here. Maybe it takes a minute. Okay, I've moved the phone back up here. Then it dropped back down to two bars. So, hmm, interesting. Does it help? Yes. Does it help exponentially? No. Um, gonna have to keep trying. It has been six months since I did the initial install of the high boost and recorded that portion of the video. I tested it for a little bit, uh, had some issues. Uh, as you may have noticed, the location of the internal antenna did change. I had issues with it being mounted up here. It just didn't work. So high boost support was actually great. And apparently um, 
the the plane of the antennas is is very important and it did not like being up here and basically in the same plane as the external antenna there um, so that is when I moved it down here where as you can see it still lives it's not ideal it would I, I actually probably need to move this and you know actually maybe put it up here on the dash but uh, I, that's working for me so I haven't messed with it yet that second part of the video where I was testing it out in the Ozarks that was filmed in January um, and here's my findings. So that was in January. It's now June. So that's another five months since then. Um, it does work. It, it actually works. I have used it quite a bit at camp to be able to text my wife, be able to text and keep in touch with my kids while I'm out and about. Um, it does need some signal. But here's what I found. Um, there can be enough signal to boost, even if your phone may not show that there's signal. Um, so I, I, there have been times where I have, my phone showed zero signal. I plugged it in just in the off chance that maybe, you know, it would give me a bar or so. And it did. Um, and from that, I was able to, you know, text Kara, text my kids, um, even check email. I mean, I'm not you know, watching YouTube or, you know, streaming other videos or, you know, scrolling Facebook or anything, but I can communicate and that is the most important thing. Uh, so if you're going to be off grid and if you are going to, you know, just want to be able to keep in touch with people and have a much better chance of having usable cell signal, uh, the high boost works. Uh, just it, it works. Is it worth the you know four or five hundred bucks for it i mean i can't answer that question for the me and as often as i travel yes um I, it's worth it now i also have like i mentioned the garmin inreach for satcoms emergency communications i have had to use that when there was was not enough signal for the for the high boost to boost um, so always have redundancy if you're going to be out and about that's my number one recommendation have redundancy in case of emergencies or whatever. Um, if you need to communicate back home, make sure you got options. Um, but uh, yes, it works. Um, yeah, I, I haven't compared it to the competition. I don't know how well the high boost compares to other cell boosters. There's obviously several other brands out there, uh, but in this case, the high boost does work. Well, I hope you found this helpful. If you would give the video a like and subscribe to the channel if you're not already, that helps YouTube know that, hey, this is worthwhile to watch and helps helps the channel out well, with that sort of thing. If you like what we're doing and want to support us, you know, in a, in a tangible way and gain access to some special content that we put out, special events that we host each year and um, access to all of our GPS data, check out our Patreon. The link is in the description. And for Ozark Overland Adventures merchandise, I've, we, we've tweaked the logo just, just a little bit. Uh, so we have new, new shirts and stuff. Um, check out shopoverlandapparel.com. And I'll see you next time. Bye.